Oh my gosh, Jimmer. I didn't even, I'm looking at this, it looks like a handle of an axe, but right here I've just seen this, look it. Oh. <laughs> you see that? I can't guess anymore. <laughs> it looks like it would be like dishwares or something, but I know it's not. <laughs> Dude, you're going to be blown away when I, when I tell you what's in there. You're going to be blown away. Take a look. Anything else in this box? Oh! Welcome back, YouTube Universe. How are we doing today? Robert Zaba Auction, Eric Jordan Air, with his brother, Tim. And we're looking through this unit I bought for $220. I thought that was crazy, insane for buying this unit. It had a bunch of mouse poop, broken up electronics, dust, dirt, who knows what else. But man, it's been a gold mine. Found all kind of great things. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Subscribe. And don't forget the best thing you can bid on items, www.secondsense.com. Think about all the stuff you've been missing. You can see all the other great stuff we pulled out of here, but Apple II computers, vintage, all kind of vintage electronics, and unbelievable Lionel trains, ladies and gentlemen. Unbelievable. So much more to go through. For a little unit, it's kicking my butt. Luckily, I got my brother Tim to help me out. He doesn't care about a little mouse poop, some dirt, and dust, because he sees gold. Lots of gold in this unit. We still haven't got the toolbox open. We'll have to work on that. Hey, remember you were asking you some spice? Oh, yeah. So we got some that, vintage spice can. Some vintage Mrs. Dash. Or Ooh, leaf marjoram hole. Nice. Uh -huh. Ooh. Oh, look at this. No way. Oh, I'm so excited. Look at this. Ooh. Look at this Turn. crazy controller. Wow. What is this for? Almost. Would this be for a plane? Yeah, a that's car? what I was almost thinking. Some RC stuff or... I mean, that's old there. Look at me in Fairborn, Ohio. What else could be in here? Oh man, I'm excited. That's the second controller I found like that. Here's the stuff for it. Yeah. These are all the transmitters. That might be for a plane, huh? Yeah, something like that. Maybe the boats. Wow. Oh. Oh, it looks like it would be a plane wheel. And there's all these. Phone parts? I don't know. <laughs> Interesting. It's all over. Oh. Oh, no. Shut the holes. And then these always sell. Oh, yeah. Socket holders. Yeah, we got two of them. Two of those. Screws. Nail screws. So I was hoping some money or something. But that was a good find. Yes. Once again, the shooting just keeps surprising. What the... I know there's a bunch of stuff down here. Some kind of brand new travel kit. Look at all that mouse back there. Something crazy. Was it a solder gun? Nothing. Maybe that solder gun we found earlier. Look in here, Tim. There's like new crap. All kind of garbage. VHS tapes. Feel the dreams. Do the feel the dreams. <laughs> These are the boxes that you're, you find something, you can find like a jewelry box or something in there. A brand new box. You just don't know, you have to search through everything. Like you got, right now I got like personal pictures. So you give these boxes their household personal stuff, you gotta go through them. What's this? Oh. I have no clue. This stuff's packed in there. Packed and stacked. Something here, it's wrapped up. Oh, it's a speaker. Oh, looks like beat the heck. Holy crap! <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it'll look better with these on. Those speakers make huh. good nests. So, those are some cool shades. Too bad they're a little beat up. But... I think, dude. Man, what's in this spot? What is that? Cold. Pyro. Oh. 
Corning wear. Corning wear. That's what it is. It's a whole set. I think so. Oh, those are going to be the lids. Oh, there's some pirates. Oh. Little like. Oh, Fire King. Oh, jeez. Some Anchor Hawking. Anchor Hawking. There you go. So, who knows? Got some vintage glass in here. Oh my gosh, I'm going to Looks like it's paper. <laughs> and. Rewinder. Be kind, please rewind. Be kind, please rewind. Just all some kind of electronics. Just chips, man. Little ICs and sockets for ICs. Worth anything? I mean, I just bought some ICs the other day, so if they're the ones you need, because a lot of them they'll do just simple tasks. One will be like an amplifier, stuff like that. Oh, look at this thing! Oh my gosh, Jimmer! I didn't. Even, I'm looking at this. It looks like a handle of an axe, but right here I just seen this. Look at. Oh! <laughs> you see that? They go oh, lying on the train, bro. What's in the box on top of it? Oh. Let's say all paper. Well, once again, we'll have to go through it closer. But, oh, I'm so excited. What's in this Lionel box, Tim? Hopefully, Lionel. It looks like it. It says an outfit number 15203 diesel passenger train with horn. Right, $69.95. Oh, $69. it's in there, $10. Watch, watch, watch. Another set? A set. Another More track. Set. Look at this. Oh, oh that could be the loco. Oh, my gosh, right Tim. Oh, I'm shaking right now. <laughs> Ooh, that one's pretty sweet. Look how big it is. Lackawanna. Size matters. <sighs> That's nice. Wow. Wow. That's a nice locomotive right there. This is the stuff. This is why I bought it. Ladies and gentlemen, I saw one little Lionel track thing. And I'm like, well, maybe there's some Lionel trains in there. Sometimes if you got a feeling with units, go with your gut. Take the risk. Remember, money's the easiest thing in the world to obtain. Go find these old Lionel trains. It's not as easy. And you're going to find them for $220 for all the ones we just got. So here's all kind of pieces apart. And look at it, man. Uh, Here's the box car. Oh, man. I'm so excited. There might be another engine in here, too. No control. control. And then those look all like cars. Pullman. These are probably three Pullmans in a row, Tim. Probably. It might be that one. That might be the train itself. Illuminated observation cart. Yep, that's we've had that set before. Nice. That's, that, that's those three ones, and they all, they're all like passenger cars. So... Once again, I mean, this box right here, I don't know, I'll have to look up the line out, but I guarantee you this box is our money back again from the unit. It's just, oh! <laughs> I want to say each one of those Pullmans is like 60 Tim, some bucks. what do you see this? What do you see this? Oh, I thought it was a regular boomerang. Oh, that's a sweet antenna. It's the antenna for the car, the old boomerang. I thought it was a real that's boomerang. That's money, though. <laughs> I thought it was a real boomerang, though. I got excited. Oh man. I'm more excited about this one. Yeah. <laughs> that was pretty sweet. I want a real boomerang and Tim, he's more excited about <laughs> That's a sweet antenna. Don't fall, trains, don't fall. Oh my gosh. So who knows what else we're gonna find in this unit? I'm liking this corner. I thought the other corner, I remember I was looking in here originally and I'm like, man, I gotta go to the other corner. Now I'm back over here and I'm like, I'm with you Tim, I'm liking it. I see was that a propeller back there? Or no. Any more parts? Parts, pieces, wires, leads, <laughs> stereo harness. Or the CD book. Or nothing in there, so who knows? Here's what I saw originally until I saw that line out. Craftsman too. Not bad. So Craftsman acts as believe it or not, ladies and gentlemen, worth money. No, I don't think it's a propeller, Tim. It's just another part of a fan. <laughs> Coming at you, hot. Coming at you, hot, Tim. So who knows? I mean. Oh! <laughs> no way. Ooh, a tank. Monogram. Remote control tank, Tim. That's cool. 
<laughs> it's gotta be money. It's a cool little RC. What else is in here? Not many toys, but they've been pretty cool toys. Air nice holes. The tiny drivers. Screwdriver stuff, brand new. Something for something. Oh, it's a cigarette lighter. Oh. <laughs> With, With the, the ashtray, tray. yeah. That's probably worth money now. You can install in any car. Yeah, they don't come with ashtrays no more. Nope. You might get the part outlet for a cigarette lighter, but you ain't getting a cigarette lighter. There's some books down here. What the heck is this? Oh, Black & Decker drill. I thought it was a gun or something, huh? Solid state. Something heat kit. Another tester. I mean, how many testers will we find? Just 10 bucks a tester will make all of our money back on the TV. <laughs> it's been a lot. So, and everything. Every kind of tester. Man, we got all the stuff still. Signal stuff generators. over here. Stuff everywhere. We got to load up some of the stuff. Keep watching. See what else we can find. Man, it's been a tough go. But we got so much more to go through. So many great finds. I mean, we found so many lying down trains so far. All kind of great vintage electronics. We'll look at this thing real quick. It looks like it's seen better days. No, nope. another scope. But the engine part broke off of it. Look at these records, then I bet you this would play nice. Romantic moment. Let's see how bad. A little curve. Actually, the record is <laughs> a little bad, but not as bad as it looks. You just put it in the oven. Put it in the oven straight now, but I don't see anything good in these records. Boris Welk, I know. Everyone loves Boris Welk, but. He's really popular with the kids nowadays. Yes. We got paper. Oh! Ho, ho! Tim, we found something. Look at Buddy. What were we talking about earlier? Oh, there they are. There's the end. So we found the track earlier, and then this is the whole thing looks like it's just filled. All cars. With N scale cars. Some of those N scale cars go really good. Yeah, we've had some go for over a hundred dollars before that was going, so and this whole this whole box is just filled. So there we go. Money box, right right there. Pay for the unit again. What is this? Oh. Air gun. Centro. Air guns in here. More tools that all we sell. Whatever this is. It's actually in the box. Some kind of tool. It's in here. It's gonna be what is it like a rotary tool or gauge set. Oh. Look how clean this thing was. Dang. I don't think it looks brand new. One part's not, but man, that's gotta be worth something, huh? Oh yeah. What did you use that for? Carburetor, huh? It says carburetor gauge, though, so I'm assuming. Wow, I mean, this unit just keeps surprising. Like, little things like this you'll find in money, money, money. Who knows? And then you got this piece of uh, scrap electronics. Look at this box of fun. Mm -hmm. Levels. What do you think's in here? <laughs> I can't guess anymore. <laughs> it looks like it would be like dishwares or something, but I know it's not. <laughs> Dude, you're going to be blown away when I, when I tell you what's in there. You're going to be blown away. Take a look. Oh, wow. Right there. Old Zippo. Zippo in the original box. It says Zippo rule, so it's a little ruler. Oh, look at that. oh yeah. Brand new in the box. That's cool. But I, look at down here. This whole thing. I like that, like, ashtray there. That, I'm just like, so excited. One. It's like, what is inside all these little boxes? The gun got zip. Oh, yeah. <sighs> little scissors. Oh, man. This is like a sewing on? Oh, it's like a little uh, scope, or like a... Uh, opera glasses? Or yeah, something? opera glasses. Wow. Brand new, Tim. Those are clean. Try a wallet. Brand new. Oh. What an interesting, cool little box. 
Travel alarm yeah. clock, yeah. Seth Thomas. A pineapple! Another sun catcher. I'm gonna have to give this the uh, storage legends out there. He likes the pineapples. He's like key holders, so. Yep. Yeah. See another little clock. Another well that one's nice. Yep. Yeah. Both got the glow dials too. That's good. Old Yale lock. So what a great little box here. Ooh, cool little box. Man. I was really excited when I saw that Zippo thing in there, and that was a nice little box. And now I'm excited because, I mean, this came out of this box. You know? yeah, it came out of a huge box. <laughs> a huge box. Oh, man, look at this. No. Useful toilet soap. Man, this box is old. Look at that. Yeah, that is old. I've never seen anyone that detailed before. It's wow. a nice little box. There's an, uh, these are old. That's old. These are cool little trinket boxes. Who knows? Oh, there's the yeah, headphones! There's the headphones, and those are them, too. Those are them? Yeah, those are the Novas, yeah. We were looking for earlier, <laughs> we found the box. Now we got the headphones to go in the box. Make a set. Craftsman High Speed Air Hammer. Wow. There's an air hammer in it. Excited. It's like, who knows what's in the box. Oh, what's that? Is that Sterling Tim? Oh, man. Look at this little thing. It's not Sterling. No. It says something here. Possibly Britain wear dating 1825 to 1850, Tim? <laughs> you gotta take it to the road show. <laughs> I'll be looking that up. Something's inside, Tim. Something's inside of here. Ooh, a nice little perfume bottle, it looks like. Look at that. Wow. That's beautiful. I mean, who... I mean, would you expect to find this in this unit? No. Okay. <laughs> nice little... It says cologne. Yeah. Etch glass. That's gotta be the stopper, it. yeah. Look at that. Wow, ladies and gentlemen. That's not bad. This unit's really starting to surprise me. What else is in this box? Whatever this is, it's new in the box, I think. <laughs> oh my god! I saw the cord. Oh my gosh! Look at New old stock Rubik's Cubes. Crazy cubes, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> but brand new old stock. If these are all Rubik's, it'd be money, but still. They yeah. might be more because they're rip off ones. <laughs> I never heard of this. Wow. Wow. Oh, look at him. That's pretty funny. Oh, that's cool. Electric stabling machine? That's got to be money right there. I always like that see through stuff. It's cool to see how stuff works. So excited. Will this one actually be a camera this time? Nope. Tapes. Tapes. Truck stop, stop comedy. <laughs> Tim and I both got excited about that one. One thing we like is some truck stop comedy, okay? He had another tape with trucks on it, so maybe it was a oh, trucker. Look. New phone. Just the that head yellow. Head. Just the head. Maybe was that Bell? Head. Yeah. That's gonna be tapes. Jeff Foxworthy. Old fashioned country Christmas. Jeff Foxworthy. I think I had the saxophone Christmas as bad as that is. Yes, I bet you do. There's a bunch of paperwork in here, more phones. There's another one of those Western Electric Elves. Come on. Oh. Empty. A nice little sight, though. Look at this good lighter fluid. We got lighter fluid. Maybe we'll find some lighters in here. That's what I was hoping. We saw that Zippo. Yeah, I thought that whole thing was just going to be full of collectible Zippos, to be honest with you. That's what I thought originally. 
Oh man, magic cube. Everybody's getting one for Christmas. <laughs> My Christmas shopping's done. How about yours? <laughs> and if it isn't, you know what you should do? Go to www.secondsense.com. Get a quick start on it. www.secondsense.com. We got things for Christmas. We got things for Hanukkah. We got things for Kwanzaa. We got things for anything you need. Festivus. Birthdays, Festivus, <laughs> Valentine's Day. You name it, we got it. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? You're not going to find anybody crazier than me buying crazier units than this. So keep watching. Hey, everybody. Whew. More stuff to go through. Who knows what else we're going to find. I'm going to start right back here. We found me on this corner. Uh, it looks like bills. All bills. Hold on. Oh, it's quite cool. Or PC and VCR tape. All right. How oh, this one? It says a towel dispenser. Think a towel dispenser is in there? I'm mm, gonna say no. Okay. And you are correct, sir. Oh my gosh. What is it? Oh, more headphones. Dayton. Oh, no, wow. Daytron. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Look at this. Another, Another one of these. Wow. Look at these headphones. Oh. And this thing. Yeah. <laughs> like, what is that? Another pair of vintage headphones. Just so much rain and weird stuff. I'm just going to assume it's some kind of electronic thing, but I better look it up just to see. It looks like electronics. And little boards. Yeah, electronic boards. Huh. But definitely some money in that box. He find these weird boxes. Oh, those controllers. Parts of fans. Garbage. Some garbage. Here's another tester. Oh, that's the one's not a what you call it? Hell, the heat. Hell, the heat kit. Yeah. This has electronic parts. And you know what? I don't even need to open it because it looks. Like electronic parts. It's electronic parts. Oh man! The Walkman. That one's seen better days. That's all. Look at it. it has a watch called in there. The store. phone. <laughs> this might be brand new. <laughs> it could be brand new. It won't look that, brand new. No, but to convince somebody, it's you still brand have new. the foam on the reels. It's <laughs> that thing. A digi viewer. Remember you were asking about one. I needed day? one of those the other day. What? I had to go out and buy it. You went to the Digi. I went store. down to Radio Shack and grabbed it. <laughs> so you went to the Digi U store. What is this? Oh, look at this. Look at all the mouse poop there. Ooh. Ladies and gentlemen, look at that's how nasty this is. I was telling you, I know I should have gloves on. And a mask. And a mask and everything else. 1995 Wall Street Journal. Good year. Robert's making money. Woo! Second cent stock today is up. <laughs> it is. 100%. <laughs> Oh, no way, Tim. You're going to be happy. Oh, man. Crazy cube for you, buddy. Wow. And for the baby. Oh, man. Look, oh, 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 oh. I know. I'll let him chew on that. your wife. Oh, yes. Surprise, some more tapes in here. They've been all gold. Oh, and loose. Oh. Oh. I remember these. The little, like, jigglers or whatever they're called. We got a speaker in here. I am a Halloween guy. A little socket set or yeah, screwdriver set. They have a lot of bits on there. Yeah, little tweeters. Some speaker junk. These look like welding. Oh yeah, they look like electrodes. Electrodes for welding. Imagine that, electronic strap. Get out of town. Oh, uh, let's see, we got a fish tank. Hey! Oh man. These are portraits of American presidents. We got a half of a monster truck. Some, I guess that was cheese at one time. <laughs> Some paint. Wow! All right. Are those eight inch floppies? Yeah, I would say those are eight inch floppies. You can actually sell those individually. Individually? <laughs> yeah, people buy. Because it is like esoteric media. Oh, look at I see a watch in this one, John. You got a Ford lighter. Oh, man. Tracks. I wonder if that's where that tank was. 
This right here. Yeah. Uh -huh. Take that track. It was. We got these things. Ah, it's a little lighter. Oh, like those trench lighters kind There's of. There's a bunch of them. I'm assuming these are all little letters wrapped up. Weird, no rhyme, no reason, once again. Definitely no reason, yeah. And I just love it, you can't see through the bag. Yeah, <laughs> so, yeah, I thought this was a toolbox, but now I'm looking, it's a little Walkman radio. And this whole thing is just loaded with books, tapes, microwave, brown, gravy stuff, browning this, ashtrays. And this is going to be a hodgepodge of hodgepodge. I'm going to try to pull out one thing here. Look at this. We've got a grinding thing right here. So, I mean, who knows what's going to be in this box? I'll take another look over on this side. We've got a fire extinguisher. <laughs> I didn't even see that. Both controls. This thing. A code oscillator. I was looking for one of those the other day. You got a safety lug with no safety. <laughs> ay, 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 ay. Who knows what we're going to find? You got the giant floppies, those are good. Alright, let's see if we got anything else good back here. Paper. Hey, hey. Rotary. Rotary phone. More tape. IBM monitor. Ooh. Right there. That, one's pro that one's probably worth more than the Mitsubishi. Okay. I'm going to figure that's part of most of that box. What we got here, Tim? This is heavy. Oh, man. Sonia. I like that monitor. That's, either, that's like a closed circuit TV, probably. For probably. I almost thought it was a PVM and I'd be really excited. Another signal generator. We got a lot of signal generators, that's for sure. Close. Close. Paper. Got American flag down here. Clean that up. Shell Oil Company Awards. Western Standard Cell. Hmm. Hmm. Don't know what that is, but it might be worth money. Man. Got one more buy. Let's get this. Well, this is a good box. Oh, look at this. this Camcorder case. No camcorder. Electronics pieces and parts. Imagine that one, Tim. <laughs> That's why I try to get to this box right here. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. Digging at like a 45 degree angle. That's an old. Jacker Lantern. That's an old one. Lunch bags in here. There's no rhyme or reason. Books. Electronics pieces and parts. And then this box this looks interesting. Juno. Juno lighting port. Some kind of, no? All kind of like pieces and parts in there. Have to go through it. Who knows? <clears throat> what a crazy unit. So many unbelievable things. Got a few more things to go through in that corner. As soon as we get back there, we'll let you guys see it. We gotta get some of this junk out of our way. Keep watching. All right, everybody, look at me. Filthy, dirty, dusty. Got a lot of stuff out of this unit. Still more to go. I can't believe how much stuff's actually in this unit. And first thing I see is right here, look at this. Look at this. There's well. the big remote for the Lionel. It is the big guy. So I know these are worth money. The question is, it was on top of this box. What else is in this box? Anything else? 
train related or just random? Random. Here we go. Motor related or something. So it's randomness with the electronic parts. Mouse poop, of course. Keys, maybe the keys of the toolbox. Put those over there. Maybe we'll get that lucky. The last time we had a toolbox, the key was inside of it. <laughs> Speaking of toolboxes, got another toolbox right here. Craftsman. Huh. Interesting so far. Got a little glue gun. Tools, little belt. There's a watch. Nothing good. Nothing too crazy in there. Nothing too crazy in there. That's kind of a nice piece, though. Yeah, those are handy. So, another toolbox with some money. Let's see what we got back here. Oh, there we go. Snap-on. Tester. Mm -hmm. Anything snap-on is always money. So that's good. Oh, look at this. Sealed big box PC games. Windows 95. Fanny value? Yeah. Sealed. Big box games used to be worthless yeah. like know, five years ago. I know your birthday's coming up. <laughs> oh, man. Episode one. Probably the awesome. best Star Wars too. Of course. <laughs> Jar Jar Bones, I love Jar Jar Bones. This is my father world too. Long. Like the movie that ruined my childhood. Listen, I spent three years becoming a Jar Jar impersonator. I thought he was gonna be the next big thing. <laughs> I was wrong. I was wrong. But still some value. Anything else in this box? Oh wow. Damn look. Dude, this thing's loaded. Oh wow. All craftsmen. Those are big ones too. I mean, when I say loaded, these things look brand new. When I said loaded to them, that's a lot. I'm not joking. I'm gonna start dropping them all there. I mean, they just keep going and going. 30 millimeter craftsmen. So, right here, this set alone. Probably pays for a unit. That's a nice craftsman set. 16 millimeter. I think it's every millimeter, Tim. Probably, yeah. The whole metric set. We got a metric nut driver set. That's nice. Craftsman, craftsman, metric. Nut drivers are like the most useful tools. They are nice. Well, this for what box, I do. This box right here is just loaded with money. This looks like, this looks like a little table cup. So what did he hide in here? Bills. <laughs> or page stubs or something. Looks like all paper, clothes, and oh, electronic scrap tape? No way. So, who knows? Unbelievable. What a great find, though. I mean, look at how nice these are. They don't even got a spot of yeah. rust on them. Like, I don't even know. Double box end, too. I don't even think he ever used them. So, Looks like brand new Craftsman wrenches, a 1995 window sealed tank game. <laughs> I mean, who knows? The huge Lionel controller, a Star Wars Episode One mouse pad, still brand new. Hey, you never know what we're gonna find. Snap-ons, Craftsman, electronics, trains. What a great unit. Keep watching. If you haven't subscribed, I don't know what you're waiting for. Subscribe. So many great things, and don't forget you can bid on the items you see. www. Secondsense.com, www.secondsense.com.